Hi guys, this is Mario from Dark Core Studio. Today I will show you how to create a crowd system looking like this. Uh, we need to take care of two things, uh, colliders and uh, animations when we use crouch. So let's start with uh, colliders. As you can see, we use one box to the uh, collider for stand position or run and for jump but if i use uh, my crouch sprite notice that uh, collider doesn't fit anymore there are a few ways how to approach this situation if you are just using one uh, box to the collider you can uh, just resize your uh, collider when you crouch and resize uh, when you stand up in your script of course but if you are using polygon colliders and circle colliders then you need different approach and idea is to uh, add another collider and we will enable and disable colliders as we need them so first uh, let's add a circle collider for better movement okay like this and place it here great uh, now uh, let's add another box to the collider and resize it like this so uh, when we crouch we will enable this smaller collider and disable uh, this uh, bigger let's just uh, resize this to here okay now let's change our sprite to standing position this uh, red circle is our ground point that checks if um, our player is on the ground so I want to control D to duplicate that ground point let's name this seal point and maybe change color and move right here so this seal point will check if there is ground above our head and if there there is ground we can stand up because we don't have enough space now let's go to input Project settings, input, let's change size to 19 so uh, we will make uh, another input that I'll call crouch input and my positive button will be C for crouch. Now let's go to our scripts folder and open player controls. Here I want to add public uh, transform seal point. Just like a ground point and I want the private bool sealed. Now I will go in fixed update and say sealed equals and copy this uh, I want to use same uh, ground radius and same uh, layer mask but I want to check from seal point position now uh, we will check from seal point position if there is ground uh, above our head and it will uh, turn true or false 
now uh, let's add the private uh, cloud crouch that uh, we will use for input and public bool crouching so uh, in update uh, we use uh, our input so, so let's say crouch equals to input that get access row and I want the uh, input that I created crouch mm, crouch input now I want to make a function mm, void crouch function And in that function, I want to say if uh, my input, so crouch, if uh, crouch is not equal to zero, so if I pressed my input, um, if you go to your um, project settings, input, and see that uh, input has positive and negative uh, buttons and values minus one or one so if we are not pressing any of these buttons value is zero so here if we press something or seal equals to true so if there is ground above our head and uh, I want to, to add braces and say and grounded equals to true. Then I want to set uh, my uh, crouching to true and else I want to set uh, crouching to false. So why we need this end ground equals true? Because if you jump and uh, hit uh, seal with uh, your head, uh, we don't want uh, crouching to be true. And when you're jumping, grounded is false. So um, that is uh, some kind of security. So when you jump, hit uh, your or you don't want to crouch and be uh, true. Let's call this uh, function in uh, update. So crouch function and we can save that. Now let's go back to Unity. Let's uh, create a C sharp script uh, collider control open that and here I need a public uh, box collider to be stained public uh, box uh, collider to the crouch and public circle mm, circle collider to the circle and I need uh, my uh, player control script, so I will say player controls player C. Now I will set up uh, a reference to that uh, player C equals uh, this script will be on our player, so I can just say get component from player controls. And uh, at the start, I want to say my stand collider that enabled equals to true. My crouch uh, collider is disabled, so false and circle um, collider is uh, true. 
Great. Now, uh, in update function, we will activate and deactivate uh, or enable and disable colliders as we need. So, when we are jumping, let's start from that. If player C dot grounded equals to false, so we are jumping, then uh, we want, let's copy this, then we want stand to be true, crouch to be false, and we also want uh, circle to be disabled, so false. Okay, and else, if we are not jumping, then we will check if uh, our crouch player C dot crouching equals to true. So if uh, this crouching is true, then uh, we want to to disable stand collider, so false. We want uh, crouch to be true and uh, circle also true. And else uh, we are standing or running, then um, we want to stand be true. Uh, crouch collider to be false and circle we want true. Great, uh, this uh, should work. Let's uh, save and go back to Unity. Add uh, this script to player. So, the first thing, seal point will be our seal point. Then my stand collider, I think that uh, that's uh, this, which one? No, this one. Okay, my stand collider is this, my crouch collider is this, and my circle collider is this. This is a prefab, so I want to Click apply and now if we press play, okay, now stand uh, collider and circle collider are enabled. When I jump, only one collider is enabled and if I press C, uh, only crouch collider and circle collider are enabled. So next thing, uh, we want to make uh, create animations for each state. Now let's go to animation and select our player. Create new clip. I will call it Crouch Idle. And I want to save that in my animations folder. For this animation, I will use my crouch uh, I, I sprites and set uh, to 4 frames per second. Also, I will create new clip for crouch run and I will use my crouch run sprites and set 8 frames per second. Great. Now we can go to our animator. Here we have uh, crouch run and crouch item. First thing we will add a new parameter, new bool. I will call it crouch. And now I will go to my player controls, the script, and set this uh, crouch to animation that set bool. I want to set crouch to my crouching. So this is a crouching that we use. 
uh, let's go back and now I want to go from idle to crouch idle, right click, make transition, go to transition settings, turn off exit time, turn off fixed duration, transition duration to zero, and I want to add condition. Speed needs to be less than 0 0.1 and crouch must be true. When we want to go from crouch idle to idle, uh, we want to speed also be less than 0 0.1 and we want to crouch be false. From crouch idle to crouch run, we want uh, to speed be greater than 0 0.1. And from crouch run to crouch idle, want the speed to be less than 0 0.1 and turn off exit time. Okay, next thing uh, we want to go maybe from crouch run to run. So if um, Crouch is false, um, speed is greater than 0 0.1 and uh, crouch is false. From run to uh, crouch run if um, speed is greater than 0 0.1 and crouch is true. Okay, now if I press play, go to our scene, select player to, uh, so we can see colliders, uh, sorry, now if I move, press C, I have my idle animation, my crouch uh, run animation, and everything works great. That's it uh, for today. If you like this tutorial, please like, share and, and subscribe and see you next week.